How's it going ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to some more Town of Salem 2. In this video we'll be going through the new patch notes that just dropped. So without further ado, let's jump right in. So they've added a new feature called Ghost Games. Added Ghost Games. This new feature allows you to earn ghost points every time you die and use those points to play mini games. You can play Death Guess and try to guess who will die next. Or you can Death Roll and try to outroll your opponent. I really like that they added this. Actually gives you something to do in the graveyard while you wait. Gambling on who's going to die next is really fun. Improvements. Serial killer will no longer get two stacks of bloodlust when they attack a roll blocker that visited them. So this is actually a serial killer nerf. Because sometimes a serial killer could get bloodlust by night two if they kill the roll blocker and someone else on night one. So serial killer gets nerfed. Admirer protection will save a bodyguard from a duel now. That's good to know. That's an admirer buff. Necromancer can use the wildling. Necromancer buff. Apocalypse members will be able to talk at night after silence has ended. Rolls with invincible defense will not die of starvation, allowing Pirate and Doomsayer to get their win. Pirate and Doomsayer buff. Soul Collector now has Astral Visits. That's actually a pretty big buff for the Soul Collector. Now they can't die to a rampage. Werewolf can't get him anymore. They can't douse themselves on an arsonist. Apocalypse will be notified when a teammate is dueled now. That's good. Should have been like that from the beginning. Pirate will now have bloody hands after winning a duel. Bit of a pirate nerf. So the investigator might find them sus. Pirate might get outed. Pirate might get lynched. Ritualist guessing revealed prosecutor achievement will work properly now. That's good. Coven leader attack yourself achievement has been reworked. And that's because the trickster has been reworked. Good. And removed roll card buttons from the dock and added minimize and maximize buttons to the roll card itself. Curious to check that one out. Bug fixes. Fixed overlapping text entry on some Windows machines following pasting text into last will death note notepad. Fix several client exceptions and crashes. Good. Fix name error for Jester when they do not select a haunt target. Cool. Fix bug where Pirate was getting an achievement meant for Pestilence losing a duel. That's kind of funny. Fixed a variety of achievements with duplicate names or misspellings. Nice. And fixed bug that was preventing win with all coven, neutral, and all rolls achievement from being granted. Let me know what you guys think about these changes. I'm super stoked and happy about this. The, the patch note was literally like two days later from the previous one. So they're working hard on this. And this is just going to make the game a whole lot smoother. Rest in peace to the serial killer. And very happy about the soul collector buff. Comment below what you guys think. And I will see you in the next one.